Good morning and welcome to the Daily Tanya. Today is Thursday, the 20th day of Adar Aleph, the first Adar. Let's begin with Tzedakah. G'dayla, Tzedakah, Shemakera Vesesa Ge'ula, Tzedakah brings Mashiach closer. We continue chapter 30. So yesterday we discussed about, we said what this chapter is about, being humble, basically, in front of everyone. In other words, even if a person is really on a very high level, and he sees a person that is in a very low level, committing so many sins and so on, you should still consider that you might be at the same level. You're not better than the other person. Because the challenges that he's fighting, that he has, is not the same challenges that you have. You're not fighting yourself. You're not doing the battle in doing good the way he has a fight to avoid his temptations. And there is no difference between when it comes to the will of Hashem, it doesn't matter whether it's, it's, it's the doing good or avoid doing bad. Al Rebbe now goes on the next step and says, if you really think about it, not only in the area of, not, of doing good, are you not doing the right the full the full thing the the way you should do fighting the battle the way you should but even in areas of avoiding doing bad even a person that is really acting everything nice everything good is a benin he's doing everything right you can find areas in you if you're honest with yourself this is where the alter rebbe really guides us to be truthful, to be truthful with ourselves, truthful with our service of Hashem. And with that we can, certain things that we don't even realize that are considered not good. He's giving a few examples. For example, talking negative about a person and not really talking bad. Sometimes you mention something, a, a little thing, so you want to, someone mentions about, accuses you of doing something, says, no, it wasn't me, it was somebody else. And he brings an example from the, from the story in the Talmud like this. And other examples, like you're in the middle of a nice, interesting conversation. Just a, a nice, slanderous conversation, but the, again, this is a slander, or just gossip, which is an area, he calls it that people, the Talmud tells us there are certain things that Adam dash cave of, which means people trample on their foot. This is an expression to say that there are certain things that people just step on like it's nothing, it's, it's normal, it's normalized. I mean, especially today, in today's uh, age of social media, People constantly talk about each other. What this guy did, what that woman that did, it is, those are things that are very tempting, very attractive, and you want, you want it, it sounds, it's very interesting, very enticing, and you want to hear, you want to listen, you want to say, things like that, says Dalt Rebbe. You have to pay attention, you have to be on top of it. And those are things that the Torah also tells you, take, this is another opportunity to connect to Hashem by abstaining from doing those things. So let's see what the Alter Rebbe says inside. So again, I'm saying yesterday we said about the Benini, you need to think about how he's not perfect in areas of doing good, he's not fighting his battle in doing good properly. Now he says, Even in the category of turn away from evil, Every thinking man can discover within himself that he does not turn completely and totally away from evil. In areas that is not easy, 
במוקים שצורך למלחמה עצומה כערך הנזכה לעין. In a situation is requiring a battle of the level, meaning the magnitude described above, which we described the battle of the, that the Kal Shabakalim has, the, lower, the lowest of the low, that he's fighting his own battle when it comes to fighting his temptations. It's a fiery uh, passion that he has, and he has to fight it. So here, or even in a situation requiring, even a situation requiring a battle of a lesser magnitude, you still find yourself that you don't realize, but you're not fighting that battle, even in lesser battles. And for example, lehafsik be'emtza sicha noah. For example, you may find that it does not summon up the strength to stop in the middle of a pleasant gossip. A nice, sto- nice uh, story, is telling stories. So again, here there is areas, what is permitted, what is not, and there's a lot of details about it. And of course, for that, we have to know the laws and so on. What kind of talk is uh, permissible, what is not? Or in the middle of re- relating a tale, discrediting his fellow. And even if it's not a really bad thing to say about him, about uh, another person, even if it's a very slight slur, he ought to, uh, even if it's, it is a very slight slur, and even if it's true, and even though his purpose in relating the story is to exonerate himself. And the Alter Rebbe is bringing an example, what it says in the Talmud, a story with Rabbi Yehuda and Rabbi Shimon. Rabbi Shimon brought to Rabbi Yehuda a certain get, a bill of divorce, which was written not exactly the way you're supposed to, was supposed to, and and Rabbi, the father, Rabbi Yehuda, was uh, obviously unhappy seeing this, and Rabbi Shima noticed that the father is unhappy, and he sees and he says, "Oh, I wasn't, I didn't write it. There was Yehuda, the tailor wrote it." So. Uh, he didn't say anything bad. It was a small thing, and he wanted he wanted to his father not to feel that his own son is the, is not knowledgeable about writing the the bill of divorce. So the but he didn't. He just said, "I, I he did it. I didn't write it. He wrote it." And his father told him. His father told him, "Keep away from slander. You shouldn't have told me." Who wrote it? That's that's what the, the Alter Rebbe brings an example. As is known from the Rabbi Shimon, what Rabbi Shimon said to his father, Rabbeinu Hakadosh, concerning a problematic bill of divorce that was improperly written. He said, Lav ano katve elo yudo chayeto katve. I did not write it, you did the tailor wrote it. Where the slur was a minor one, and it was true, and the purpose was self vindication. And yet his father told him, Omaloi kalech miloshonara. His father replied, Keep away from slander, don't speak bad about others. Note there in the Gemara, tracted Bobe Basra, beginning of chapter 10. The same applies to very many similar things which occur frequently. So, there's a, there's a story of the Rebbe Rashab. The Rebbe Rashab was a little boy. There was once a tailor came into his 
house with a suit that he just prepared. And he made a suit, made a new suit. They had the, they gave him the material and the tailor uh, saw, uh, made a suit. And, and the Rebbe Rashab walked over to the tailor and he noticed there was a piece of the material in the tailor's pocket. And innocently he went and he took it out from the pocket. And the tailor was very embarrassed. He thought it was, you know, and he said, oh, yeah, I was going to give it to you. I was, I didn't mean to take it, this piece of material. And after the tailor left, the, his mother told him, you, you see what you did? You embarrassed this person. And he felt so terrible, and he started crying. He was a little boy. And after a few weeks, he came over to his father. And he asked them, and he asked them, uh, what do I do if I embarrassed another Jew? How can I repent for embarrassing another Jew? So the father told them what happened. So the Rebbe Hashab didn't want to tell him. And he said, I'm, gonna, I'm going to tell, I, I embarrassed a Jew. Now you want me to tell Lush and Hara? to speak bad about another Jew. That's a little boy who understood the great the concept, not talking bad about, about another person. And then the, the Alter Rebbe brings other examples in areas where a person may find, if you really examine yourself, are we really perfect or should we, we should really be humble. But there are certain areas that we're not perfect, we're not doing the way we're supposed to. For example, things that are, there's a concept of Kaddish, Atzmech, Mutaloch. You should sanctify yourself with things that are, is permissible. We spoke about it a few weeks ago. But there's areas where the Torah says is forbidden, and obviously it's forbidden. But the Torah says also even things that are permissible Sanctify yourself, meaning not everything that is permissible, you should go and uh, and indulge in it. So you do only what you need to have. Things that you don't need, you don't do. Even things that are permissible. If you have, if if it's if the. If, the, if wine is, is kosher, it doesn't mean you have to drink up the whole uh, box. Bifrat says, Dal Terebe, Lekad, Binya Lekadesh, Atzmer, Bemutolo, Yishu, Madoi, Raise, Kamesha Kostov, Kadesh, and Tiyo, Vagayma, Viskadesh, Tamagayma. This is especially true with regard to sanctifying oneself by refraining from indulgence in permitted matters, as in a biblical commandment derived from the verse, you shall be holy and sanctify yourself. Now, there is, there is disagree, there's different opinions whether this, uh, this com uh, commandment is actually a biblical commandment or is it a rabbinical commandment. As the Alter Rebbe says, even if it's according to the opinions that is not biblical but is rabbinical, we know the rule says that the rabbinical enactments are even stricter than biblical laws. Moreover, even according to the opinion that this commandment is not biblical of biblical origin, yet rabbinic enactments are even stricter than biblical laws, and one will, of, uh, one will often find himself succumbing to self-indulgence when the temptation is strong and requires a battle to overcome it. So again, all of this is to show that you should be humble in front of other people. The fact that other people don't, over, don't overcome their temptation doesn't mean that you're better. You're not overcoming your own Temptations in the areas that you should. But all these and similar matters are among the sins which people trample underfoot.
insensitive to their importance. We're not aware. We're not aware how important, and not only that, but because we keep doing it, it becomes like a permissible thing. And which have come to, to be regarded as permissible because they are committed repeatedly. So that's a very important lesson we'll learn from here. How do we, we should be, really be, be truth, true with ourselves, true with uh, what we're doing, and, and to be knowledgeable, to know what to do and how to do. Not to speak bad about another person. I said one, one of the Rebbe's secretaries, Rabbi Nisim Mendel, Allah Shalom, he said he worked in the Rebbe's office side by side for 40 years. He never heard the Rebbe saying a bad word about another Jew. Never. Those are things that we have to be very careful. So this is the end of today's share. We'll continue with Hashem tomorrow. Have a wonderful day.